This is section 2.1. In this section, we continue to study transformation T on the vector x. We have seen in the previous section that we can represent x in the Euclidean space Rn. And the operation T can be represented by a matrix. The output y is equals to Ax, where A is m by n matrix, and the input is Rn space, and the output is Rm. In this view, transformation is simply um, matrix vector operation, A times x. Now, we wish to consider the case where it is advantageous to convert x into another basis. Let's call this basis B. And A changes to another matrix called D. How it changed, we'll discuss later. But in this example, we wish D to be as simple as possible. And in our case, let's focus on the diagonal matrix case, where D represents the same transformation T in the B basis as a diagonal matrix. Why we do that is because anything d multiplied by a vector, when d is a diagonal matrix, the multiplication is very, very simple, computationally very simple. So in this basis, let's call this x of b. d multiplied by x of b is y of b, the output y in the b basis. This is the equation showing this fact yb is equals to the operation d times x of b. Now, let's remember how we convert from the standard basis to the b basis. We basically do this. We take the input x in the standard basis and we pre-multiply on the left by p minus 1, where p contains the columns of the basis representing the B basis. So here is the fact. X of B is generated by P minus 1 times X in the standard basis. So this fact is also here. Now, the operation on the B basis is D times X of B. This gives us y of b in the b basis. So we reach this point in the equation. And because most of the time we want the output to be in the standard basis, to convert a b basis to a standard basis, we pre multiply on the left by p. So we get p, which changes from b basis to the standard basis multiplied by d, which is the operation of a in the b basis, p minus 1x converts x from the standard basis to the b basis. So these three, these three operation, p d p minus 1, represent actually a, the operation, the transformation in the standard basis. In the eigenvalue and eigenvector idea, what we usually have is that the basis P is actually the eigenvectors. D is the diagonal matrix containing the eigenvalue. So this is the relationship of linear transformation and eigenvector eigenbasis. We'll see that in the work examples 8.1.5 B slides. Thank you.